We could say samsara was conceived as a nonverbal uh, guided meditation um, on the cycle of birth, death, and uh, rebirth. And it's really sculpted, it's really produced and directed by the, by the power of flow, especially in the edit. The overall arc of the project is uh, to let, is to guide you through it. And you could say content-wise, when that natural flow that we show in the organic environments is interrupted, then you have um, disturbing images uh, that this film has, that Baraka doesn't have. Uh, it's when that flow is interrupted where you have animals in cages and people in cages and um, dolls that replicate humans but lack the breath of life, you can say. It's, it's showing the other side that we didn't show in Baraka. It's a little more about now uh, and we get into conflict, birth, death, war, sexuality, all, all kinds of elements of human existence. We start off with a concept, a, a broad concept, and from that flow certain themes, and those themes direct your research and your, your choice of locations where you go and, and gather imagery, and you decide is it something that's visually strong enough to consider including in the film. Because it's nonfiction, it has a, a certain power or essence, and it's very hard to predict ahead of time how that is going to fit together and flow together. And so, in some ways, it's, it's about us finding the films within the material. We were more relaxed, I think, with Samsara than with Baraka because we'd been through it. Um, we had a scenario for Baraka that we departed from in the end because ultimately the films are made with the reality of the imagery that you bring back, not, not from what you've written. You could say that, sort of frame of reference behind all this, that we're these privileged invited guests that have been invited here by life, and life's the host. It, it is that kind of positive insight that I would like these films to reveal. And I don't think you need words to do that because it's not about your head thinking about where you are and what you're seeing, it's what you're feeling about it. That uh, I think is a real uh, voice, the real spiritual voice within us is, the, is our feelings. And um, without the words, you're able to really penetrate into these images in this space. The hope is that a viewer comes away feeling a sense of connection, a connection to the phenomenon of life around the world at this time.